Welcome right. in Green Bay's ageless cornerback, Charles Woodson. We begin with this. You had a pick six on Sunday. You're now one away from Rod Woodson's record. You're keeping track of that, aren't you? Oh, you better believe I'm keeping track of it, and, and I want it. So uh, I'm working hard to get it, so hopefully it'll come soon. God, I saw you playing college, so I cannot believe you're going to turn 35 in a couple of days, which you are. When you came into the league, Charles, at 21 years old, what would you have thought about a 35-year-old cornerback? Uh, I wouldn't have thought about it at all. You know, I think you come in at 21, and uh, all you're worried about is the next day. You don't even look to the future. So I, I wouldn't even have thought that far ahead. Uh, so to be here, you know, and to, you know, about to be 35 in a couple of days is, uh, is it's a blessing for me. Well, right now, Green Bay's offense, as you well know, is getting praise to the heavens. You guys are undefeated, but the defense is ranked 28th. What's up with that, or does it even matter anymore what the defense is ranked? No, I think, uh, you know, the, the game has always been about winning. And, and the thing for us is it, it's a team game. And, and so if our offense has to carry, you know, the rest of the team, you know, <laughs> for the whole season, you know, we don't care about that as, as long as we get W's. So that's, that's the name of the game. It's a team game. So at some point we know as a defense we have to step up in a game uh, during this season to, to help solidify a win. And uh, we'll be ready for that moment. But – you know, our offense, they, they get the praise because they deserve it. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep doing our uh, job on the defensive end, trying to get better, and, and we will get better. Having played in the league as long as you have, you've seen the tweaks to the rules for offense and for defense. Wilbon is always saying now that the NFL has legislated defense completely out of football. You play defense, we think you're slightly more qualified to speak to this than Wilbon. <laughs> Do you agree that you can't play defense anymore in the NFL? Well, they've certainly made it much harder. You know, I think uh, defensive guys now, you know, you instead of going out and just playing the game, uh, hitting people and making tackles the best way you know how, you have to actually think about, you know, before you hit a guy, how you're going to hit him. You know, whether you hit him uh, chest high or above the knees. Uh, hopefully you don't touch any part of a, a, a offensive player's helmet. Uh, offensive players are allowed to push off of you, and, and that's called getting position for the football. But if you grab a guy, then it's a pass interference. So uh, they've made it tough on defensive players out there on the field. And uh, we've just had to adjust and, and, and just go out there and play the game and, and try not to get caught up in all of that. You hear that, Tony? Do you hear that answer well, that, from, well, from a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer? But the logical <laughs> follow-up to somebody like Charles is have you felt yourself pull away from making the kind of play that you want to play? No, I mean, I go out and make the plays that are there for me to make. There have uh, been instances where, you know, I've kind of pulled up and, and not gotten a call because I'm, I'm thinking a referee is going to call a, a OPI, but he doesn't call it. And, and so I felt like, you know, at that point, I should have just grabbed the guy or held on or something and, and didn't do it. So. You know, it definitely, you know, plays into the game a little bit. But I think for the most part, I've just gone out and, and played the game and make the plays that I can make. Let's go back to the offensive side of the ball for a second. Brett Favre told an Atlanta radio station he was surprised that Aaron Rodgers didn't win sooner than he did. I, I think that these comments are insane, but it's more important to our viewers what you think. I'm sure you've heard about this. What do you think, Charles? You know, what I think is that um, – Aaron Rodgers, I think uh, the Packers organization, I think the Packers fans uh, are totally over that whole situation. And so, you know, whatever he said is fine. And we're, we're all here, all of us here, we've moved on from it. So no, no more comments about that. We'll get you out of here on this. Tim Hightower, the Redskins, says he looks forward to getting interviewed in Indianapolis in February. Well, where are you going to be in early February? <laughs> I'll be there, too. And maybe he'll be interviewing me. <laughs> That's great. Thank you for joining us, Charles. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.